All right, back at it again with another product from Soundcore by Anchor, and these are the AeroFit Pros. And there's one main thing, one major, major thing about these that I absolutely love, and it's probably obvious already, but there's also two things that really make it hard to justify the price that I don't like. And so this is gonna be my full review. Gonna keep it really short and simple because this was an easy product to test. It wasn't that difficult. There wasn't too much on the technical aspect of these to have to cover. So I will have all the specs in the description below because that's a mouthful to say as it is. I wanna go through just my real world experience and what I think about the functionality of these. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here are some of the key aspects of the tech specs. Now they have Bluetooth version 5.3, four microphones per calls, IPX5 water resistance, there's button controls, no touch controls, Playtime is 14 hours with the earbuds by themselves, 46 hours total with the charging case. There's fast charging with USB-C, 10 minutes gives you five and a half hours. Of course, you have app accessibility. And there's a detachable neckband that's made out of titanium that's completely adjustable. If you look at the hardware though, 16.2 millimeters are the speakers and directional acoustics is written right on there. And they're not playing. I mean, these are so good when it comes to the sound quality, I'll give two perspectives. Most open ear earbuds that I've used all sound kind of the same. Music quality is last on the list in terms of it actually sounding good, where audiobooks and podcasts are like the best you can do with most open ear earbuds or even audio glasses. With these, music is priority. The volume, the bass, the mids, the highs, the lows, everything is incredible. Where there's points I kind of forgot I had over ear, open ear earbuds on. And see, even saying that a bunch of different times kind of gets tough because I'm like, man, these really sound like I have earbuds in. Second perspective, besides the music quality being fantastic, is when it comes to volume. So most open ear earbuds or audio glasses I have to keep at like 80 to 90, sometimes even 100 on the volume, especially if I'm in a coffee shop or if I'm walking around and pass by a loud environment. If I'm in my house, I still have to keep it at like 50%, even in a quiet environment. These, big difference. Even in a loud coffee shop, I'm at like 50, 60% volume. Keep in mind, they're open ear earbuds. And I'm like, yeah, that's enough. It sounds more than loud enough at that volume level. In my quiet office, 20 to 30%. I've yet to ever hit 100 because that would just be too loud for my ears. And that actually even goes with the 360 audio that you can enable on the app. So with 360 audio, it's not Dolby Atmos quality. I mean, it's good. It's mainly for gaming and entertainment, especially if you're watching a movie. Like I was watching Save Your Private Ryan and watching a lot of the battle scenes with 360 audio and it sounded fantastic. But I don't think it's gonna be good enough for most videos or movies. It just enables the sound to be more immersive, but it's not like it's really doing anything crazy in my opinion. So it does depend on the movies you're watching and stuff like that, just an FYI. So in putting the earbuds on, as you can see, what's the comfort level with glasses? I mean, if I take my glasses off, obviously comfort level's like eight, nine out of 10. I mean, after a while, I kind of forget they're even on. They feel a little loose depending on the workouts that I'm doing. If you go for a run, I mean, they're ear hooks, no problem. I mean, basically, you would have to be doing cartwheels and gymnastics before you worry about these falling out. But even then, because of the neck band, as I'll show here in B-roll, you're gonna have a secure fit to where, I mean, I don't know what you would have to do to make these fall off, all right? So <laughs> we're talking everyday usage and running and going to the gym, things like that, basic activities, well, depending on what you're doing, right? It's perfect. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the fit. Even with glasses on, it's not that bad. I mean, it's like seven out of 10 comfort, but I mean, you gotta keep in mind like what type of earbud they are. So comfort level's great. The only thing I don't like about design though, overall with the hardware of these is the case is massive. This is not the most pocketable case I've ever found. Yes, there's USB-C charging, and yes, there's physical buttons, no wireless charging, no touch controls. And I'm thinking, all right, Soundcore by Anchor, you are saying, these are pro earbuds, but now I'm gonna start getting in the flaws of these. How come you didn't enable touch controls? I mean, it's just depending on the situation. I think most people like to do the swiping up for volume. If you guys did a different design, it's just kind of nice to have a more futuristic earbud where these look and feel like they were released three, four years ago, in my opinion. I think design is lackluster. 
and functionality with the buttons. I mean, even if I get into button controls, it's all basic stuff, you know, long press, play pause, double tap, triple tap. You can adjust the controls in the app, which I'll get into in a second. And that's really about it, which is fine for the earbuds. It's not like there's much you need to do. And speaking about hardware, let's go ahead and do a microphone test. All right, now here's a microphone test of the AeroFit Pros in a quiet office, and I'm actually using the Voice Memos app on my phone. And what I'll do is do a coffee shop test. I think we'll go with that. So let me play it on my computer here. When I go reach for the speaker, let's see what it sounds like. So that's about 70 decibels, and you're hearing this on the camera microphone. Let's go ahead and switch it to the earbuds now. <clears throat> so this is what it would sound like if you're in a coffee shop with the earbuds. Uh, doing a phone call or a business call, or whatever you got to do. Uh, and let me go ahead and stop that now. So I wanted that to play out just so you can actually hear a good enough sample test. Now let's get back into the review. Us getting into the app, here are some of the things right on the welcome center for the support center. And then I'm going to exit out of that. And I'm going to go to sound effects. As you can see, spatial audio with head tracking. You can either have it fixed. You can have head tracking on movie mode or music mode. And then if I go back to the default, you can adjust this to podcasts or a treble booster. Of course, you can customize it to your liking and even give it a name, or you can go to the sound core signature if you would like. So pretty standard stuff. Custom EQ is what you adjust it to. So you can just select it right there. And then if we get into the settings, the settings, there's an auto power off, a find my device, which is awesome. If you go into there, it plays a noise. I'm not gonna play it, but it is really loud. Um, you should be able to <laughs> hear what you're finding. And then there's dual connectivity, which I have connected it to two different phones and I'll get into latency and connection in a second. And then of course, volume balance. So other than that, there's not much, you know, there's not much besides adjusting the controls. So a single press, a double press, a single press or a double press on either or. Uh, for me, I didn't notice anything wrong with latency or even distance. Like one example is I'm in my office right now, 1100 square foot house. If I go into the front yard, I was raking leaves the other day. I left my phone in the office. I went into the backyard all the way on the other side of the house. It's not like I live in a mansion, but you know what I mean. And then cleaned up the backyard. I had some garden work I had to do to finish up for the winter and prepping and nothing, no issues, no stuttering connectivity, Bluetooth 5.3. I mean, you really have to be really far from your phone before you're gonna notice it. And most are gonna have it right there on their hip, like, you know. And so for me, uh, and that's really important for delivery drivers, because you're probably gonna leave your phone in your car as you're walking to the house, right? And you wanna continue listening to whatever you're listening to. But for me, for $169, think about that. They come in different colors. There's great sound quality. And they have a great fit, especially with that neckband, which is great innovation. And the fact that there's no touch controls and no wireless charging, for me, I just, it's hard to say they're pro, you know? And I mean, there's 5,000 bends of the earbud for it to last with the titanium wire in there. So I feel like durability is just fine. IPX5 rating for sweat and water resistance. I have no problems with that. It's just, again, it's that nitpicking thing of, I feel like these should probably be $129 and maybe that would ease up on calling them pro for the price. Um, but sound quality is fantastic and maybe that's the only thing that matters most to you with these. So I fully recommend them strictly for sound quality and the fit. Those are my two favorite things with them. I, anyhow, take it for what it's worth. I really appreciate you watching this video and hopefully this was helpful. I will see you on the next one.